Okay, here's my pickups for today. Everything you see in front of uh, you represents about $200 um, and $52 in spending by me, and it's just a general store, man. I'm just going to jump right in. I'll start with the jewelry. Um, most of the money I think we spent today was on jewelry, and we bought things like this. Uh, this bang, I guess, was 6 bucks. I guess she'll sell it in the $10 to $12 range. Uh, this is kind of neat. This is, uh, there's a clock in here made by a company called uh, Madonna. Never heard of them. I'm not really sure what she paid for it. I wasn't around when she was buying this stuff. But um, uh, I don't know what we'll get. Here's something I know she paid 10 for, and it's, it's a, a sterling pendant on a chain. It's got a maker's mark and everything. Uh, she paid 10. Uh, if the designer is anybody, we'll sell it for more. If not, we'll probably get in the, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, we'll probably get in the uh, $20 range. Um, here's something interesting. This is a, a teether. Uh, it's got a lucite and a silver bell or something. Um, this has got to be from the 40s or so. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know what she paid for it. Uh, it possibly it's uh, possibly silver. don't know. Uh, we'll get on it. We've been buying cufflinks. Here's a nice pair. Uh, these are Tiger's Eye Black Onyx and probably made by someone like Swank or something. Uh, the chunky ones we like. Um, we're going to do a big uh, antique show at some point and uh, guys have been buying cufflinks. Here's just another with side. These are probably blue glass. Um, here's some nice earrings. These uh, look like uh, Mother of Pearl. Um, oh, so here's some more cufflinks. Uh, here's another pair. Here's some more cufflinks. So we, we, I think we generally sell cufflinks in the, anywhere from three to maybe 10 or so range. Uh, let's see. There's just a little uh, sweet little dragonfly thing. It's got somebody's name on it. Don't know. I don't think that's a, a valuable piece. Just some uh, plain cufflinks. These will probably sell for three dollars or so. Um, uh, maybe this uh, this is probably silver. It looks like a filigree. This is probably something. I don't know what she paid for. We'll probably sell for like uh, ten to fifteen. Um, uh, fun little cat pen. Probably JJ. Uh, I don't know. Uh, something we'd sell for three to five dollars at most. I think. And then here's some. Um, Sparkly Aurora Borealis crystal jewelry, uh, stuff like this we'd probably sell for like 12 to 15 a set. Uh, oh, here's another one of those dragonfly pens. Uh, here's just a nice bracelet with some uh, plastic charms and uh, looks like clovers and hearts. Uh, it's probably something we sell in the 8 to 12 dollar range. I don't know if this is silver. This is probably gold felt. Um, Here's a box with a few nicer things she got. And again, I'm not really sure what she paid for it. Um, we paid two fifty two for everything. I think she paid about about a hundred twenty or so for her jewelry. So, however it works out uh, mathematically, um, this is just a sterling bracelet with hearts. We'll probably get ten to twenty on it. Probably and ten to twelve. Um, here's like a tennis one. This is probably silver uh, with gold vermeil. We'd probably sell in the twenty to twenty five range. Uh, kind of a nice looking cameo. It says sterling on the back, so it probably has a little bit of age. I don't think we'll get a, a lot for it. Uh, it has some marcasite in it. Uh, we'll probably get like twenty to thirty for that. Uh, let me just keep going. Um, lucite uh, necklace. These are popular, but they don't sell for much. Uh, so it's probably eight to twelve. Here's a little jade Buddha or looks like jade uh, I don't think we'll get much for that and then this must be some kind of a <clears throat> crystal necklace um, here's a Whiting and Davis person this is nice it's got like sparkly rhinestones I think she only paid 10 for this uh, again unless I put it on eBay I'm probably only get 20 to 25 for it uh, and then just a nice looking bracelet I don't think she paid much for it she probably won't get much these this one's a pretty cool one this is that uh, silver tone chunky uh, stuff from probably the 70s. Uh, she'll probably sell this for in the $10 range. Um, a locket pin. She'll probably sell that in the $8 range. Uh, who's this? Just a multi-strand chain necklace. Uh, let's see who makes it. Uh, it's a Trafari piece. We will probably sell this uh, for 15 or so. Um, here's a jade. Well, actually, let me do this first. Uh, just a froggy pin. Uh, I guess it's, you know, by bit, not silver or anything like that. She'll probably sell it for like three to five dollars. Um, here is a bracelet. Every uh, it looks like it could be another one of Jafar or whatever. But this is probably like a twelve dollar bracelet for us. Um, the flea markets we go to, we don't sell jewelry for like very uh, high prices. So, <clears throat> I mean, sometimes we do better shows. Here's a jade and um, I forget what they call that pink stone, rose quartz. Um, probably Asian piece. Uh, doesn't look very very old but kind of nicely done 
maybe she can get 15 to 20 for that at the flea markets we go to. Um, this is silver, and it's got like an African design. It says sterling on the back, probably has some age. Uh, I think I paid five for it, <coughs> not a lot. Uh, here's another bracelet. Don't know what we got into that. Actually, I don't know why I said bracelet. It's a necklace. Um, then I know actually what we pay for these <laughs> uh, because I bought this. For $12, I bought these earrings at a sale. And uh, one of the Corn uh, Cornelian stones already popped out. Um, but it is sterling, so we'll probably get 8 to 12 at the very least for that. Uh, here's a nicer, larger uh, pendant. It looks kind of, it's definitely an older one. And it's probably marked sterling there on the, be on the bezel, is that what it's called? And it has, again, that red stone, uh, probably cornelian. Um, something like this, I could probably get 20 to 34 at a flea market. And, um, and then I also got this piece, which is uh, kind of a nice looking piece. And this should, again, be sterling. It's got some M on it. And as you can see, I think it's sterling. If it isn't, I don't really care. Uh, because, uh, yep, it says 925 on the back. Uh, and it's got uh, sorted, I don't know, I, I forget what these stones are called. Um, but for, for $12 for all that, that's fine. I, that's definitely stuff we will make money on. Um, in terms of game today, games today, let me just knock them out. For $13, these are all the games or game related items I got today. And this is a PS2. It's not in horrible cosmetic condition. There is a chance that it works. Oop, uh, somebody worked on it. Okay, uh, so it is, it's either working or not, but I paid like 13 for everything, so if it doesn't work, I'll give it to my friend. He can sell it online. Um, one place had a bunch of loose discs, so, uh, but they were all scratched, like worse than this. I don't know if you can see how scratched this is. So I just, out of like, say, 50, I only picked uh, three because he was selling them a buck a piece. And uh, this one was supposed to be two. This is actually the wrong game in the case. Again, it was scratched up, but I think this is a, a better one, the Dragon Ball Z Ten Tenkachi 2. I think three might be the most valuable, but I don't even know. So I took a chance. Uh, and then I got uh, Dreamcast. I never find Dreamcast games anymore. Is this Dreamcast? She doesn't say. What's this on the other side? Oh, no, it's, comp it's PC. Okay, I don't even know why I bought that. Um, but it's a twin pack. Okay, moving on. But that's it. That's games I got. Um, I got a box of CDs at another sale. I paid uh, 15 for all the CDs. They were selling them for like 50 cents a piece. So there was about like $24 worth. I said, we take 15 for everything? They said, yes. I didn't even check to see if they were scratched though. So um, for $10, I bought this CD player from someone I know. Uh, so I didn't really check it. And of course, it's got a stupid broken spring. So now, oh, well, now it works. Um, when I go to push it down, it's annoying uh, most of the times. Um, in terms of artwork, I bought this painting today. I kind of liked it. It's a nice floral. And it's clearly signed uh, E.P. Welsh something. Um, but I paid 20 for it. And sometimes I have a hard time selling stuff like this. But what I liked about this is that the guy's stamp. Painting may not be reproduced without consent of artists all over the back. So I think the guy was like a real live... Um, artist, not like somebody's grandma uh, painting, uh, you know, on Sundays, uh, what do they call them, like a, su a weekend artist. So I figured I'd take a shot, 20 bucks, I'm not really sweating that. Um, in terms of old glass I got today, I bought um, this, this is like an old, I don't know if it's old or not, but it has all the markers of something that looks old, so it's probably either a repro or it's kind of old, uh, but I paid five dollars for the two pieces of glass, and this one I can certainly make the five dollars back on, because this is an Amberina ruffle top um, vase, I don't know who makes it, but at five dollars, it's, it's a, a completely safe bet. Um, uh, then for $65, I got all these perfumes, uh, a lot of older ones. I'm hoping some of these will, one or two of these will pay for all the rest, and then it will be pure profit. This one is Le Galleon. Uh, I can't really read the name right now, but I'll figure it out later. Uh, it looks like S something, whatever. Eau de Perfume. Again, $65 for everything. I bought these two Charlie Colognes. Even though they don't smell, uh, smell, even though they don't sell for too much, I'll lot them. Uh, someone just gave us uh, this little teeny uh, one quarter fluid ounce uh, Chanel number no. five Eau de Cologne. I will lot this with some other Chanel uh, number no. fives that I have. I think this is, uh, I recognize this. I just, off the top of my head, this could be like a Chanel. Um, and since I was buying just a bunch of bottles, I just grabbed that one, threw it in with a pile. Um, I got this Tussie Midnight Cologne. I might have had this before. I don't know if it sells. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent. How could this not be worth at least 20 or 30 or something like that? 
Uh, I got this. I never heard of this one. Glasshouse Fragrances Miami Pomelo Grapefruit. Uh, but again, I just made a pile and figured, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, and then he gave me the price. Tag. Uh, I don't know if that's a good one. Um, made in France. Beats me. I'll figure that out. Uh, I think I've had this Norel. This might have some value. Norel uh, Prestige Fragrance Cologne. I'm not sure again, but like I said, I believe a couple of these will pay for everything, and then and then we'll see what happens. I've never had this one, Colonial Embrujo de Sevilla. No clue. Uh, Cornet de Bal, Eau de Toilet. Not familiar, but it's made by Revlon. I want to see if Revlon perfumes have much value, so I'm going to start buying some of those. Uh, Tatiana. Hey, how are you? Uh, Diane von Furstenberg. Not familiar. Uh, another Tatiana. It's probably like a smaller version of this. I'll probably lot those two. Uh, into, this is Intimate Eau de Toilet. Revlon. I'm going to see if Revlon stuff is worth anything. This one's probably a decent one. Uh, Loragon Eau de Toilet. I didn't open the box to see if it was in there. I just kind of grabbed it. It's a small size. One point, well, it's not too small. 1.25 uh, fluid ounce, so we shall see. And then I got a Adam's Rib. <laughs> I never heard of this one. Adam's Rib. I don't know who makes this. We shall see. And then I got this, this Zen. It looks really nice in the box. It was $5. Um, so I said, why not? I'll go for it. Um, but anyway, that's everything I got uh, today.